The fact is this. It's been over 30 years that the American Psychiatric Association and the American Psychological Association normalized homosexuality. Okay. In, during these 30 years, there has not been one psychological model of development of the child that leads to homosexuality unless you traumatize the child. If the boy experiences, and the girl too, if, they, if the child experiences a particular kind of trauma, a traumatic rejection, that boy is likely to become homosexual. If you do not traumatize a child, he will be heterosexual. That's the reality of it. The child is capable of becoming a homosexual or a heterosexual, but it's our responsibility as parents and as educators to take these children and direct them toward their natural biologically determined gender, which is heterosexuality. Trauma is not what happens to you. It, it's what happens inside you. That's a good thing, by the way, because if trauma in terms of what happened to me as a Jewish infant under the Nazis, if that was the trauma, I'll never be a, a, a person who wasn't a Jewish infant under the Nazis and during that period of genocide. If trauma is the fact that you were abused as a child, you will never be a person who wasn't abused as a child. Trauma can also be inflicted not by what happens to you, but what that doesn't happen that should happen. So that when your needs aren't met, that can wound as well. Even though you weren't overtly hurt, you were still wounded by not having your essential human needs met. But if that was the trauma of what happened to you, guess what? It'll never unhappen. But if trauma is what happened inside you, the wound that you sustained, the meaning you made of it, the way you then came to believe certain things about yourself or the world or other people. And if trauma was that disconnection from the authentic self, well, guess what? Good news. That can be restored at any moment. So that's why talk about the, the new view of trauma. When we see it as that wound, as long as we see it that way, it's a wound that can be healed. If we see it as a bunch of things that happened, that'll never unhappen. But we don't have to, the biggest lesson for me, and one I continue to have to learn, is that we don't have to allow it to define our lives, how we see ourselves, how we see the world, how we relate to the world, other people, how we relate to possibility, how we relate to even spiritual transformation.